Happy Tuesday. It's March. And, uh, hey. So, anyway, I am 51 years old. And I am part of that population that nobody seems to want to talk about, the long-term unemployed. I believe being 51 is part of the reason why I'm part of the long-term unemployed. There's 2 million of us and growing. I have worked 25 plus years, always had a job. Even as a single mother, I raised my kids by working. Never asked for a handout. I worked, I paid for everything, put a roof over my kids' house, paid, they just graduated college. Now, Congress, the Senators, Obama in his pen and his phone, which is useless, have done nothing. It seems like you all forgot about us. You have let us go without an income since December 28th. We're going into three months now. No, unemployment is not an entitlement. It's not welfare. It's something that came out of our paychecks for nearly 30 years of working. Every single paycheck, that safety net, as you called it, came out. We paid Social Security. We paid FICA. We paid state taxes. What, probably 25% of our check comes out first. So all these years of working, we paid into the system. It was supposed to help us. And now we're unemployed. And we can't find jobs. If I read one more news article that says, oh, the long-term unemployed, don't, don't give them benefits. Make them go look for a job. If you think that the 45-year and older crowd, as myself, are not pounding the pavement looking for a job, you're drinking the Kool-Aid. If you think we're, we want to hold out for unemployment and not settle for any job less than unemployment or less than what we're making or less than we think we deserve, you're again drinking the Kool-Aid. We're a different generation. We've got, we know nothing but hard work. We know nothing about working for what we want. We know nothing except for paying our own way and our own existence in this world. And now you, President Obama, the senators, the congressmen, and our local state officials, your so-called public service politicians, no, you left us hanging. You're too busy fighting over whatever backroom deals. You left us hanging without a paycheck. So now here we are in the middle of March nearly, and now first time in my whole entire life, I have my mortgage payment not paid yet. My car insurance, not paid. My water bill, not paid. My sewer fees, not paid. My electric bill, not paid. My gas bills to heat my house, and not paid. Not paid. Pretty soon I'll lose my internet and my cell phone bill. Why? Not paid. I need those. Those are tools of finding a job. Gas in my car to get to an interview. Ah, empty. You have left us hanging. Why? Why would you do that to us? So why are you worried about immigrants and illegals and everybody else? Big corporations, you, it, yourselves, the next, you're going on trips. You're eating big fat steaks for dinner every night. You're taking off in a gas-filled car. What about us? What about us? We have worked 30 years. We had every single paycheck. We've had money coming out for FICA, for Social Security, for unemployment. We paid into the system. Unemployment is not, is not a handout. It's something we paid in to protect us when we could not find a job. We've always been able to find a job. Now we're deemed the long-term unemployed. We're deemed lazy. We're deemed as we don't want to work. We're deemed as we're not looking for work. Let me tell you, even since the extensions run out, every day, every 50-year-old that I know that can't find a job, every day makes it the day you look for a job. We send out resumes. We make phone calls. We try to network. No, no jobs. Why? Because the 45 years and older population are not getting hired. Why are we not getting hired? Are we not getting hired because we think 30 years' experience deserves more than $10 an hour? You know, at this point, we want to pay our bills. We'll take that job for $10 an hour. We're not getting hired. I personally believe it's the ACA is part of the problem. See my eye? Yeah, I know. I look kind of like a cyclops. I probably have pink eye. Nothing I can do about it if I do. Why? No income. No income. No medical. Oh, sign up for medical. No, nope, I won't. I will not be forced to sign up for a for-profit Ponzi scheme like ACA for that medical. A, I can't afford it. And B, that would make me a hypocrite because it's the ACA which is killing the jobs. Everybody I know that still has a full-time job, their hours got cut. Their pays got cut. 
to me, I believe the ACA is keeping the 45-year and older crowd from being hired because if you're an employer and you've got 100 employees and 80% are 40 years and older, that age bracket puts your insurance group into a risk pool. Just our age alone is enough to make us a risk because now we're at the threshold of stepping into the parts of our lives that possible medical things will start happening. That deemed us too expensive to employ. Anybody who says age is not a factor in becoming employed, again, you're drinking the Kool-Aid. Back in November, a few months ago, here in Rhode Island, Network Rhode Island, which is an unemployment office, started bringing us in groups of a dozen or so. And I noticed everybody in the group was 45 and older. They're telling us, your resume sucks. They want us to remove all the years and dates off our resume and not show anything more than 20 years experience and try to hide our age. I even had what the lady tell me, oh, well, at least you don't look your age. Really? That's what my unemployment office, oh, at least you don't look your age, you might have a chance. Well, how, that doesn't even make sense. Because if I get hired and I print over my credentials, they're going to know my age. I'm not, I, what? So at 51 years old, now the government's telling me to learn how to be a bullshitter and bullshit my way into a job. I'm too old to learn how to be a bullshitter. No. If my long 30 years experience of hard work, ethics, and experience is not enough to get a job, America is in trouble. We are sadly in trouble. Meanwhile, you, Obama, with your so-called pen and phone, you are congressmen, you are senators, you are state elected officials have dropped the ball. You have turned your back on us. We have paid into the system for every paycheck. And now December 28th, you let the extensions fall. You let it fall for the first time in the history of this country. You turned your back on the unemployed. Not only are your policies making the job market far and few between, but your ACA is hurting us. And now you're letting us sit here with no income. My bills are not paid. My mortgage is not paid. I, I'm not going to have the tools to job hunt. And it seems like nobody cares. You're too busy fighting with each other. You're too busy looking for how to grease your own pockets. You're too busy kissing the ass of big corporations. What about us, the unemployed? We need help. We don't want you to focus on immigration. We don't want you to worry about health care. You're the federal government. You are not a doctor. You should not tell me how, how to get medical. The government, the IRS, insurance companies, for-profit insurance companies, should not be in charge of my health care. My ovarian cancer and having my uterus removed should not make some CEO of Blue Cross able to afford a new yacht. We have a problem. I could have fixed the health care in, in this country in one page, not 2,000 pages. Remove the profit from medical. Cancer should not be a for-profit business. If grandma taken her statin pills, should not be a for-profit business. We have sick care, not health care. But now the problem is, the main focus that you need to focus on is jobs, jobs, jobs. We want jobs. We need jobs. We want to work. We want to pay for our own existence. We don't want you, big government, to run our lives. Now, when you're taking off to Hawaii, you're going golfing, you're taking the girls out to dinner, you, the senators and congressmen, while you're living fat on your pensions, uh, paid for by the people, when you're going out to dinner tonight, paid for by the people, remember us, the two million, two million plus of us that you left us with no income. No income. And no, nobody gets rich off of unemployment. Nobody lives large off of unemployment, especially on the extension when you knock 12%, 12% off. 220 bucks a week does not mean you're going to Walmart and buying crap for China. It doesn't mean you're going to dinner. It means that you might be able to get your mortgage paid and a gas bill. Or you might get your electric caught up. Or you might be able to keep your internet on so you can find a job. Or you might have macaroni for the next five nights. We are not living large on unemployment. We are not, we did not leave the workforce. We got forced out of the workforce. We did not stop looking for work, nor will we ever stop looking for work, just because you turned your back on us. Now, I am asking you, and I'm speaking for the two million of us that you left hanging with nothing, please, please, please extend the unemployment. We need that, and we need it now. 
uh, mortgages are not paid, our cell phones aren't paid, our car insurance is not paid, the water bill, the sewer bill, the electric bill, the, the heat for the house, not paid. We're out of toilet paper, we're out of toothpaste, we're out of dog food. We have no income. And you don't care. If you think that November is so far away that the two million of us will forget, we will not forget. Because you have made the last three months a living hell for all of us. We are 50 years old, we're tired, we're frustrated, we're angry. We were told that if we worked hard the last 30 years, that by the time we got here, life would be easy. Nope. I'm a single mother and raised two kids by myself, working, working to give them a roof over their head. I never got a handout raising two kids on my own. And now that my kids have graduated college, it's harder than ever to keep this house alive. I don't want to lose my house. This is where I live. This is my home, as little as it is. I don't get to live in a mansion. I don't get anything that you get. And I don't care what you have. I just care what I have. And you work for me. I need you to put your selfish, egotistical bullshit aside, stop fighting, and remember the people that you work for. We're tired, we're pissed off, we're starving. Fix this and fix it now. Thank you.